The Graphic EQs button opens the display for the 16 internal 32-band graphic EQs. These EQs can be applied to any type of channel, either input or output, normally using the channel insert A or B. There is a large EQ display at the bottom of the panel and an up arrow button on the right that expands the panel to show all of the EQs. The 16 smaller displays can be touched to select an EQ to adjust and this will appear in the larger display at the bottom of the panel. Now touching this larger graphic EQ allows you to use the 24 channel faders for EQ adjustment. The highlighted area shows you which bands are being adjusted. Just touch the screen again to select a different set of EQ bands. There is also an overall trim control and an EQ on off button. These EQs can be linked together either globally by pressing the all button to make the same adjustment to all of them or by ganging groups of them together. You may, for example, want to put a pair of mono EQs across a stereo bus. To gang them, touch the first member of the gang and press the Build Gang button above the large on-screen faders. Now touch each smaller EQ unit that you want to include in the gang. Pressing the Build Gang button again ends the process. To make another gang, repeat the process and you will notice that a new colour has been assigned to the new gang. To edit an existing gang, touch one of that gang's members and press the Build Gang button. Now, touch an existing gang member to remove it from the gang or a different EQ unit to add it to the gang. There is also a flat button to reset all of the selected EQ bands from 0 dB and a presets button allowing you to save and recall your favorite settings. Each separate EQ unit also has its own safe button to prevent snapshots changing that particular graphic EQ settings.